Hey everyone, welcome back again. So moving forward in our project series, today we will create Redshift cluster, and in that we will create our uh, table which we will upload on Redshift. So let's get started. So to create the Redshift cluster, first you need to log into your AWS account, and after that you have to search for Redshift. That means search here Redshift. Okay, and click on this icon. So you can see that I had already created a cluster before that. So first I will delete that cluster and after that I will show you how to create a new cluster from beginning. So now to create our Redshift cluster, first we need to go to our AWS console and then here search for Redshift. So search for Redshift and click here. So now you can see that Red, uh, AWS is giving uh, Redshift serverless free trial. So click on here to get the free trial. Uh, AWS actually gives uh, three hundred dollar credits for uh, Redshift serverless, and it is valid for only three months. Okay. So here you have to choose the customized settings. Then, after choosing customized settings, so here you can give the name of your namespace, and then click on this button customize admin user credentials and then here you have to give the admin user password so i am giving the password for admin so this is the admin user password and now you have to associate an iam role to your uh, redshift cluster so to associate a iam role you have to go here and if you have not uh, if you have not created any iam role then create iam role and here you have to click on any S3 bucket. That means uh, your AWS Redshift serverless can uh, load data or unload data to any S3 bucket. So I have uh, selected this option, and after that, click on Create IAM Role. So you can now see that this uh, IAM Role is created and it is now set as default. So this is your now default uh, AWS command access. IAM role okay so if you need this in future so keep kept it somewhere and now if you click here so you can see that in this policy you have two accesses it amazing redshift all command full access. so you can use any command in the AWS redshift and this is very important that means you have to keep a copy of this one because this one will need uh, when you will load data to Redshift or unload data from the Redshift. So I will kept it somewhere in the notepad. This is our IAM role for Redshift cluster. So this is the IAM role. Okay. So you need to keep keep this somewhere in your local system. After that, uh, do nothing and now click on save config trace. So now this will take some time. So now our setup is completed and we need to click on continue. So you can see that our work group is now available and our namespace is also available. So now to see some example in Redshift, you can click here query data and this will open a SQL console. So here this is our SQL console and here you can see that there, there is our work group and inside that uh, we have two different databases and inside that our schema will create it so let's say we will create our schema so inside dev we will create a schema name uh, which will which we will use for our project so to create a schema we will use create a schema and then we will give the name of our schema so our schema name will be data underscore query and if we Run this first, select this and click on run button. So you can see that uh, data query schema is now created. So to see that, replace it and you can see that inside Dev a new schema is created. So a schema is basically a folder a type of structure inside. Database. So this is our the database name Dave, 
and inside that we have different uh, schema in which we will store our tables so we are using uh, this data to upload on red sheet so what is the structure of this table so here we have employee id employee name department and salary so we have four columns and uh, five rows uh, in which data are stored so to create table in red shift we use simple the sql command which we use to create table in mysql or postgresql so here we will use create table then we will give the name of table so what is the, the name of table we will give employee and after that if we run this command so you can see that if it is successful and if we refresh it here so this is not here also so by default this is going inside the public schema so here is the catch if you not specify in which schema do you want to store the table so by default it will be stored uh, by default the table will be stored inside the public schema so to store this table inside data query schema we have to specify that this will go inside data query so write data query dot employee and after that run this command create table data query dot employee so now we, uh, our table will go inside the data query so if we run this now if we refresh so now you can see that there is one table inside our data query and its name is employee so now you you have understood that uh, how we we can create a table or run any query inside the redshift server list so in the next video we will transfer our s3 file to the redshift because in the first part we had uh, transferred our local file to s3 and so in the next video we will transfer our s3 file to redshift using python so hope you have enjoyed this video and learn how to create redshift serverless and run query on the redshift serverless so we will meet in the next video thanks for watching take care bye bye